Hey, hey, and welcome back to Miss Kitty's Wild West Adventures, and welcome to a very special Halloween edition. Tonight, I'm sharing a tale straight out of the darkest corners of Texas history. It's the story of betrayal, revenge, and an outlaw who may still ride under the blood-red sky with no head. This topic was suggested by Jack Dorsey. Jack, I hope I gave the story justice. In the mid-1800s, the Rio Grande marked the border between the U.S. and Mexico. Or at least that's what the Americans believed. But to the Mexican government, the true border was the Nueces River. Between these two rivers lay a dangerous stretch of land, a lawless wilderness known as No Man's Land, perfect for outlaws, bandits, and rustlers. In 1850, a notorious rustler named Vidal had a dead or alive bounty on his head. But with most Texas lawmen pulled north to fight off a Comanche raid, Vidal and his crew of henchmen saw an opportunity. They gathered up prized horses from ranches along the San Antonio River, including some from Texas Ranger Creed Taylor. But what Vidal didn't know was that Taylor wasn't about to let this step slide. Creed Taylor, along with his fellow ranger, the legendary Bigfoot Wallace, and a local rancher named Flores, tracked Vidal and his gang across the rough Texas terrain. They waited until nightfall and struck with deadly precision. But this time, the rangers didn't just kill the rustlers. No, Wallace wanted to send a message to every outlaw lurking in the shadows of no man's land. They beheaded Vidal. Then they strapped his lifeless body to a wild mustang, tying his hands to the saddle horn and securing his head and sombrero to the saddle. With one last kick, they set the horse loose into the wild. From that moment on, stories spread like wildfire. People claimed to see a headless rider racing through the remote countryside, its head swinging back and forth with the rhythm of the horse's gallop. Thus, the legend of El Muerto was born. Over the years, the story grew even darker. They say flames shot from the horse's nostrils, and lightning crackled from its hooves. No one could catch the beast, until one day. In a remote watering hole near the community of Ben Bolt, a group of locals finally captured the wild mustang. And still, strapped to its back, was the dried, shriveled corpse of Vidal riddled with bullet holes and Indian arrows. Vidal's body was buried in an unmarked grave near La Trinidad Ranch, but the horse, it was set free. And from that day on, the headless rider was seen roaming the plains of Texas, from Fort Inge to the edges of no man's land. Even into the 20th century, the sightings continued. In 1917, a couple camping near San Diego, Texas, claimed they saw a ghostly gray stallion thunder by with a headless man on its back, shouting, It is mine. It is all mine. And in 1969, near the town of Freer, a driver spotted the headless rider once again, galloping into the night. To this day, some say you can still see El Moreto riding through the hills of San Patricio, Duval, Jim Wells, and Live Oak counties. One spot is even known as Headless Horseman Hill. So if you find yourself alone in the wild Texas night and you hear the sound of hoofbeats, beware, you might just cross paths with El Muerto. We hope you enjoyed this special Halloween episode of Miss Kitty's Wild West Adventures. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and ding the bell for notifications. And in the meantime, I'll catch you on down the haunted trail.